All right, let's talk about the retirement plan. And no, I'm not talking about giving out any financial advice. This is not that kind of channel. We're talking about the movie. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick, and this is the show where we talk about movies, music, TV shows, all things entertainment. I love entertainment, especially when it comes to movies. And... This weekend, I watched one on streaming called The Retirement Plan, starring Nicolas Cage. I didn't quite know what to think about it at first, uh, but in putting this together, I've gathered my thoughts, and let's go over it real quick. Now, The Retirement Plan, directed by Tim Brown. Oh, Tim Brown! Touchdown, Raiders! No, no, not that Tim Brown. That. Tim Brown. It stars Nicolas Cage, Ashley Green, and Talia Campbell. It's an action comedy kind of crime movie. I thought there would be a little more comedy and a little less action. To my surprise, there was a little more action, but not as much comedy. That wasn't necessarily a bad thing. It was just different than what I was expecting. It was... Almost like they were going to push Nick Cage into being the next John Wick kind of person. But alas, he's no John Wick. One of the characters, Ashley, and her young daughter get caught up in a criminal enterprise that puts their lives at risk. And she turns to her estranged father, who is Nick Cage. And he's currently living a life of a retired beach bum in the Cayman Islands. But she and her daughter soon come to find out that Cage had all these years has been, I don't want to say a secret agent, but he worked for either the CIA or some pseudo company where he was an assassin. The reason why Ashley was estranged from her dad was because he was never around and she never knew it. But the more time that she spends with him now, the more she realizes that his secret past that she knew nothing about was not only a good one because he was doing good for his country, but also goes a long way into helping them out of the jam that her and her daughter are in. In addition to Green, Campbell, and Cage, the movie also stars Ron Perlman, Jack Earl Haley, Ernie Hudson, Grace Byers, Lynn Whitfield, and Rick Fox. Now, as most movies are nowadays, a lot of it is predictable. I get that, but to my surprise, there's a few things that don't go the way you would think that they would go. A couple of them you kind of wish went the other way, but sometimes it's not good for a movie to be different for different sake. Like I said, this is no John Wick. If you're going into it expecting that, eh, yeah, you'll probably be disappointed. But if you want some action with a tiny bit of comedy thrown in, not a lot. Um, I don't even know why they threw the word comedy in here because after watching it, I'm like, there's a couple things, but no more than would be in any basic action movie. Again, that's okay. I found it entertaining. I don't know if I'd watch it again, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. The film was shot on location in the Cayman Islands, and I love it when things are shot in the actual location that they're supposed to be in. It does lend a certain sense of authenticity to the surroundings. Uh, a good example of that, there's a lot of TV shows that are supposed to take place in one city that looks strangely like another because the location just is isn't quite the same now it initially came out in the united states on september of 2023 and it is new to streaming don't know if there's a, a dvd or blu-ray release yet but who knows might add it to the collection that's one that i'll have to think about it's distributed by joker films running time is 103 minutes and the initial budget for this movie 
was $20 million, which is quite low for movies nowadays. The box office take, though, to date, I believe, has only been about $752,000. So chances of a sequel are going to be slim and none, I would say. A lot of these companies now are making their money back in the home media world. A lot of people don't go to theaters like they used to. Thanks, COVID. Thanks. This movie got a Rotten Tomatoes score of 60% and an average of 5 out of 10, which is right in the middle. So in closing, that's where I sit with this movie, right in the middle. Again, it's not a bang-up action movie. It's not going to make you say, whoa. But it's not bad either. It sits in the middle. It's, I want to say, a different role for Nicolas Cage, but pretty much most of the roles he takes are different. So, again, right in the middle. So, in closing, out of five stars, I would give this one a very, very generous three stars. Do I say go out and watch it? Yeah, it's worth an initial watch. So definitely take a look at it. But I want to hear back from you guys that have seen it. Let me know what you think about this movie. And let me know what I can talk about and review in the future. I love hearing from you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you. Like, share, subscribe. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I will see you again. Hey, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that button right there. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You'll never miss an episode. And speaking of episodes, I got plenty more. You hit that button right there. Again, thank you so, so much. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I'll see you soon.